Is Mixon on the Falcons draft board? Yeah, he's still up there. Hmm. And at what point does uh, Arthur Blank chime in on this front? Oh, I'm sure he does. And we've talked a lot about that. And and Arthur has some very strong opinions about this, as I do. I, I, I feel very strongly about people when it comes to these issues that we're, we're, we're suggesting with, with a guy like Mixon. And, and uh, I say that he's on our board right now. That does not does not mean these players that we're talking about will stay on our board for long. Uh, we make sure that we are very well thought out most of this. And as you know, sometimes when you're talking about issues – like this, uh, the conversation isn't that drawn out. Thomas Dimitrov of the Falcons, front office general manager since 2008 here on the Rich Eisen Show for a couple of more minutes. So um, what is the deepest position, you think, in the 2017 combine and draft? Wow. You know, every, every year people ask me that, and, and I, I realize that, you know, obviously there's always going to be receivers. Every time you and I look at that receiver board, you're thinking, wow, I mean, you're, you're trying to work through it. And, and I always say the scout on our team who's responsible for the cross-checks of the receivers, I, I think we should pay him a bonus because mm. there's so much work in evaluating those guys. So I think there's some depth there, of course. Uh, I think there's some depth on the defense side. I think there's some pass rushers in this, in this uh, draft class, uh, which will be interesting to see. And uh, I think, uh, you know, Offensive line-wise, like every year, some some strength there and, and some challenges there as far as where you're going to pick. Um, but all in all, I, I think every draft has its benefits, of course, and its, its strong points. And uh, when you mention receivers, Julio Jones, what's the deal with his toe? Do you think he's going to have surgery on it? I think Julio's got, you know, going to take some time and see how he feels. And, and Julio is a very uh, resilient football player, body, mind, and soul. And I think uh, the time that he spends in the next, you know, few weeks after he's been off since the Super Bowl, I think will determine when he does uh, decide one way or another. I've heard he's doing really well, so I, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not really fearful of it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.